Hi everybody, Hello. welcome back to our channel. I'm Nee. And I'm Danny, and today we're watching Masters of the Air. Very exciting. New TV show. I know. Oh my god. Um, where do you even start with this one? I don't I know. I even... know, well, we're, we're both coming in very fresh. Mm -hmm. So I suppose the only thing we can maybe talk about is because we, we recorded a reaction to Saving Private Ryan, though this first part of Masters of the Air will be up before it, so we're going to have to be a wee bit careful about how we talk about it. But Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, yeah, so, good point. But we can maybe talk about that and the Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg thing. And Yeah, why don't you tell us a bit about... Because I know that Masters of the Air, Tom Hanks, Steven Spielberg mm -hmm. are involved. I know it's related to Saving Private Ryan that we've watched. Mm -hmm. What is going on there? What's the connection? Like what? It, that is the connection. But the there's another there's executive other producer too, right? is Tom Hanks and Steven Spielberg, and after Saving Private Ryan, they made a TV show called Band of Brothers in I think two thousand and one ish, mm -hmm. and then another one called The Pacific in like 2010, 2011. Mm -hmm. And have you seen all of those? Yes, you have. So I've just seen Saving Private Ryan. Yeah, and that was only like a week ago. Yeah, <laughs> so I'm pretty new to all this. But the style stays. Yeah. You know, so that style that, that Saving Private Ryan was in, that's what mm -hmm. continued through those two TV shows and I would expect this to be more of the same in that regard. Yes. But stories are co totally different, characters totally different. I'm excited. I do know that this is based on like true story or like yeah. real people. Yeah, so that was the difference with the TV shows versus the Saving Private Ryan movie was that the TV shows were all based on oh, okay. real people. Both of those other ones were. Mm-hmm. Right. And as is this, is the Masters of the Earth based on a book, I think, written by a historian, which, which documents the activities of a particular group of mm. the American Air Force. I know that it's to do, because I have, I've seen stuff about this, like in places, so I know that it's to do with like, is it like the, the Bomber Boys or something, did people call them, or something okay. to do with a bombing group. Okay. Um, obviously, American Air Force, mm -hmm. I assume. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, but I don't know anything else about the context of the story. I just know that these people are obviously quite famous. Yeah. Famous enough to have a show yeah. written about them. I mean, that's pretty much <laughs> and I know the actor I know some of the actors that yeah. are gonna show yeah. up. So well. who do we know? I know um Austin Butler. Austin Butler's in it. We know that Callum Turner. Callum Turner's in it. Who um, is in like the Fantastic Beasts movie yes, and things like that. Uh, I love him. Yeah. And um there's it's I think there's a group of them. I don't know if I know the others. I can't remember. We might recognise more people. As I said, there yeah. was a couple of cameos in Band of Brothers, if I remember right. So there may well be some cameos. Yeah. In this, but yeah, I, you, you've, Barry you've, Keoghan is apparently. I think he's in it somewhere. But I don't know he? if he's yeah. like a main, because I haven't seen him in the promotional stuff, but I heard no. he was in it. True. Good Irish actor there, so. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. <laughs> I actually don't think I've seen Barry Keoghan in anything. You have know, seen, yeah, well, I've seen him in that Banshee's Finish Aaron. I never watched it, no. I it know. was very good. I'm a horrible Irish person. I didn't even watch that movie. Um, I'll have to watch it at some point. Um, but yeah, like I know him because he's obviously so big right now, but I don't know. I actually don't think I've seen him in anything. Well, which is really go. fun. Yeah. Um, but I don't know how big of a party he is. I just heard no. his name was attached. That is the height of my knowledge. That's I know the, the actors. That's, that's the height of my knowledge as well. I know it's based on a true story. story. It's about the Air Force. It's made by these guys who, who've made nothing but top quality stuff in the past. So mm. I'm ready to just go for it. Yes. Also a preface... I'm not the most well versed in the World War historical stuff. Um, I'm learning bits and pieces here and there, but I'm not a big history buff. So if I'm a little lost, that's why. If, 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 but Danny's if a big we, fan. Well, if, if we are both a little lost, please feel free to help us out. Yes, absolutely. Feel free. Because I certainly am, as much as maybe I have a bit more knowledge of World War Two, but I'm by no means any sort of historian on the matter. But yes. I'm just excited to meet some characters that I can follow along. I've always said I'm a bit more of a TV yeah. show fan than a movie fan. Yeah. I like getting to know characters and having a bit of time to spend with them. So mm -hmm. I'm excited for that element. I think I'm going to really enjoy it. Yeah. Looking forward to it. Can we just start, please? Let's, I want to watch it. Let's get going. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> I'm buzzing for this. Bucky, next round's on us. He's never done that before. Oh, it's Cal Turner. Is that? Is that? Make a nice pair, don't they? Oh, I should have introduced them earlier. Oh. Hi, and there's Austin. A girl with riding through is hard to find. Mm, not if you know where to look. He uh. sounds like Elvis. <laughs> My ship out, I'd say two or three weeks. Mm. 
gonna see what I'm gonna say. That'd be so hard. We're going to Sluters, you guys coming? Nah, I gotta fly early. Buck? I don't think so, boys. Oh, Bucky is Austin Butler. Oh. Oh, no, I can't tell. I thought it was Count Turner. Uh, yeah, maybe. They met in basic training before the war started. John was always Bucky since he was a kid, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay. And Gail. 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 First day of basic training, this fella walks up to me and says that I remind him of a guy back home who goes by the name of Buck. Oh, Buck. Oh, that's what it was. He's Buck and he's Bucky. Oh, my God. <laughs> Buck and Bucky. You know what? You, you know what? You should actually be thanking me. I did you a favor. <laughs> Forgive me the same name. It's not exactly the same name. And it's not my fault. Oh. You look exactly like Buck from man. Oh, man. It's a walk. Wisconsin. <laughs> what kind of man does that to his best friend? Oh, it's so sweet. Oh, they have such a good friendship, don't they? <laughs> oh, they're sweet. This That's is heartbreaking. That is sweet. I am amazed that we're friends. You don't like to dance, you don't drink, you don't gamble. You even like sports. Uh, we're one of life's great mysteries. <laughs> he's very, he's the serious one, is he? Yeah. Yeah, one's a bit more fun. Yeah. He's in love. He definitely is. He's mad for this one, isn't he? Oh no, he's gonna die or something. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> See you in a few weeks. If I don't die first. I hate to break it to you, Bucky, but you are the hundreds air executive now. Not going over there to fly missions. I had a conversation with the CO over at 389th, and I'm flying with those boys until you guys show up. You son of a bitch. Mm, yeah, well, someone's got to taste a little combat. Tell you what it's really like up there. He's going into combat. Oh. Yeah. But he wasn't meant to be. No, he has to be. Oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> Keep the nose down! Let's get this fire out! Come on, faster! Come to help us! 1943. So this is the bomb group he said he was going with. Yeah. Ah! The fire's out! Pull! Pull up! Ah! Ah! Oh my god, they're crashing! Okay, leveling out. They all look the same with masks on. I they can't do. tell who's who. Ah! Pilot to Navigator! We gotta head back! Navigator's dead. Wait, there's just... Wait! Hang on! Stay with me, Duval! There we go. Ah! Oh, he just shot again! Ah! I'm right here! I found the Duval! Oh, come on! Look at me! Open your eyes! Open your eyes! Breathe! Breathe! Wow. Come on, stay with me! We're headed home! Yeah. Oh, dear. Oh, no! Oh! Duval, this head. Yeah. Are they all like that? I wonder what to tell you guys. Don't say anything. I'll figure it out. We all do. Don't tell them how badly things can go wrong. Yeah. Just say nothing. <gasps> Is this a yeah. credit? An opening credits. Here. I love <clears throat> when shows have opening credits. Oh no! I'm scared they're all going to die. Now that is Barry Kilgan. Barry Kilgan. Blake Neely. Music's class, like isn't it? Wow. <sighs> no, not the opening credits. Give me chill. I got goosebumps there too. <laughs> I'm really excited. <gasps> That's Where did he go? I didn't know he was in this. Oh, hey. I say we call this fort Alice from Dallas. <laughs> Alice from Dallas. <laughs> It's got a ring to it. Alice from Dallas. Most of us had never traveled far from home, let alone flown in an airplane. Wow. We'll be touching down in Greenland shortly. Greenland. 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 Landing gear down, get ready on flaps. Bunch of approach checks, flaps a quarter. Yep. Flaps a quarter. Ooh. Don't they say that like, most plane accidents happen at like landing or takeoff. Not even when you're in the air. I mean, it's probably different when you're in the army. <laughs> I mean, you know yourself when you're on a plane, there's nothing worse than a plane that's coming in sideways, like. Lieutenant Crosby, uh, where are you from? Uh, we gotta put a pin in it. Bubbles and I were, you know, keeping the tradition alive. And guys oh. from all parts. Yeah. Okay. 
guys for a while. Cowboy State, huh? Yeah. Oh. Looks like. Major, what do you got for you? A buddy of mine came through here some weeks ago. Uh, there was an incident. Okay. He, he just wanted me to give you this. And how exactly is this supposed to be oh. a replacement? You see that? Broken narwhal tusk? I pulled it down off the wall, pretended to be a unicorn. <laughs> the two of my couches broke almost every glass in the floor. Wait. What? He got drunk and wrecked the place with a normal <laughs> tusk. He pretended to be a unicorn. No. But Tommy here. Tommy here is the best damn dart slinger in the whole of East Anglia. You'll lose an eye. Oh, I won't. I trust Tommy. Now, he lands this. I get both those bikes. Yeah, you're on Yank. And I get a oh, kiss. Oh, Oh, dear. What? Whoa! All right, Tommy. This guy's crazy. Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa! Great shot. Skills. And he got, <laughs> he got two bikes. Why? <laughs> like what? Why would you need two? That bike for sale? I brought the money in the world. <laughs> but I had another problem: uncontrollable air sickness. I've actually never had air sickness, have you? No. Turn right to one six five. Over. Roger. Turning right to one six five. Oh. Oh. oh no! I can't look. That's gross. That is disgusting. Yeah. Is that the coast of England? Crosby, that's England, right? Oh no. Wait, what? Is he, are they lost? Are they in the wrong part of the world? Crosby, that's no, England. We shouldn't be over water, Lieutenant. Oh my god, are they flying into like some kind of territory they're not allowed to be in? Sir, what's your heading? 165, like you told me. Did he read it wrong? <gasps> oh oh no! That's France! Oh no! Right, where the hell are we now? I can't. Those sound Is this like where they were meant to be? Uh, possibly. Those sound like English accents. So this must be that Thorpe it's place, giving... England. Yeah. They had a dog on the plane. You took this baby about 10,000 feet. <laughs> you stop howling. Welcome to the 100th meatball. Come on, Meatball. You miss me? Hey, listen, you're a uh, your radio guy. Pick up any chatter from the 418. You're missing Brady. Is that that group we just saw flying in France? Quite possibly. At least these are sold out for weeks. I think he'll buzz oh. past a bunch of guys. He got two. He got one for him. That's what I actually thought, but then it was like he's out there. Oh, That's adorable. Oh, that's he so got so by Bestie. Brady. Oh, they got they got away. Okay. Oh. Ah, oh, won't budge. The landing gear motor must be fried or the jack screws jammed up. The landing gear not responding. Oh, okay. dear, dear. Pilots and crew, prepare for crash landing. <gasps> They're doing like a crash landing They're crash situation. Crash landing. They've got no landing gear. Oh no. Oh wow. Oh my god, it's so scary. Ah! Oh god! Wow, the fear in his face when he's trying to stay so focused. Everybody oh my god, yes, this is gonna blow up! Yeah, move, ah! move, 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 move. Ah! Be quick. Oh, they're coming to hell. Oh no, no, no. Oh, they're not all making it out, are they? Oh, someone's, someone's gonna get hurt. Oh no. Oh, please. Is there anyone still in there? 
I hope not. I think we're okay. Oh, wow. Oh, God, that okay. was terrifying. Everyone was okay. You're a navigator, Crosby. You should be able to, I don't know, find Finding. England. Oh, God. Everyone okay? How'd you lose the rest of the squadron? We got separated in clouds. Then we had some kind of electrical failure, so we spent an hour just trying to get the wheel down. Well, you know what they say. There are two kinds of pilots. Those who have had a wheels up landing, and those who will. You didn't have to cover for me, okay? That's my responsibility. I, was, I wasn't covering for you. Yeah, we had I was a mechanical that. failure. Get a grip on that air sickness. Mm -hmm. We'll get off my plane. I mean, you can't help air sickness. It's not a choice. I know, but he's not going to be much use to anybody if he's getting air sick when they're going into battle. Oh, of course. Hey, you want to tell me about this unicorn story? Hmm. Well, the unicorn's my favorite extinct animal. Extinct. <laughs> that was excellent. I gotta be the worst navigator in the entire Army Air Force. Oh no, no. you brilliant Crosby. You're an narrator. You are aware this isn't just about how well your crews make their beds. I am. You are in charge of 35 planes and 350 air. Wow. Oh, they're in charge of a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They're so young. I think I would be of more use to them and you as a squadron commander. I just don't think I was made to sit behind a desk. And I expect all officers to get in the game with me. You're dismissed. <laughs> oh! He's a oh, doctor. he's dying. Doctor is a good idea. Definitely is. Within days, they woke us up for our first mission. Oh. With hundreds of hours of flight training in the States, we had to believe we were prepared. Okay. We to... Sir, you're flying today. There was always a special breakfast on mission days. Last meal? <laughs> yeah. The men will come to call it the last supper. Uh -huh. I hope we all get back okay from. Chuck, pass us all, please. <clears throat> oh, dear. Oh, no. <laughs> Would you please toss the salt over your shoulder so we can all get on with our breakfast? Yeah, you need to do it. I'm not suspicious. <laughs> He's put the whole salt over his shoulder. <laughs> toss the salt. Moron. He did. He did. Like. He's not familiar with the custom, I guess. Kurt, there you go. I'm flying with you today. What? Hey. Hey. Better get some of those eggs before they're all gone. I'm not on bother, Buck. These eggs were hatched in powder before my balls dropped. <laughs> all right. Oh, Pass on the eggs. Target for today is Bremen. <laughs> the 350th will be in high position with Major Clevin as lead pilot. Major. Okay. And the 349th will be low with Major Veal as lead. I'll be up front with Lieutenant Dye in the 351st. We will be in the low, low. Nope. Both naval and ground based flak positions. You can expect concentrated flak from Wilhelmshaven all the way down to Bremen. They will be tracking you. Now, your IP is on the northwest side of Bremen here. From that initial point, it's a straight nine mile run to the tag. What's your quote for the day? Quote well, for the day? Like an angel, they not die like one. Oh. To be fair, the outfits are sick. Yeah, they are. They look so cool. I like your aftershave. Oh. Mm. Good. This is how close I want you on my way today. <laughs> Just like we trained for. Yes, sir. For those who don't know me, I'm Father Tesca. Um. I'm right across the way, if anyone needs us. Thank you, Padre. We'll be sure to keep that in mind. Oh. He called a priest Padre. <laughs> He's so cool. He is. Everything he does. Like. He is so cool. He is way too handsome to seem like a real person, though. I know. <laughs> What's this? It's my lucky deuce. Jesus, mm. John. Take... I've gone Wait, on two what? missions, but it's it like a lucky... I had two wheels down. Look, uh... two corners bitten off, one for each mission. Here I am. Uh... He wants him to take it for good luck. Oh, because he can't go. Mm hmm. No, their friendship's gonna break my heart. I know it is, and I'm scared. I know they're so damn close. It's scary. It's gonna be heartbreaking. All right, see you all later. Wow. The nerves, like, how would you feel in that moment, like? Like a lot of men are surely about to die. Yeah, you just know not everybody's going back there, like. Trust you all to remember your training. 
and know your jobs. It's not going off. You drop bombs on those Nazis. And we get to go home early. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Let's rack them up and knock them down. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <sighs> He's just so cool. <laughs> Rack him up and knock him to what? <laughs> so cool. Ready for the checklist. Oh, wow. Warm 1A. Check. All four open. Cal flaps. Master and ignition switches. Batteries on. And check. Oh, they're all doing it at the same time. That's cool. That is cool. Wow. B-17 had 12 machine guns protecting us from every side. We called it the Flying Fortress. But the key to our survival was sticking together. It was important because if we got separated, the German fighters could pick us off. Show them green. Green. Here we go, fellas. Is he going to look at her again? No. He's very sweet on her, isn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't die, please. Okay, boys, here we go. <laughs> Class. Hype. You'd be Hype. pumped, like. Yeah, they're hyping each other up. Someone's taking over command of the other kind of group because yeah. they're having engine problems, and now I feel like they're going to die. And here's the Germans getting ready to man the guns. Okay. <gasps> Here we go. Flag incoming. Hold on, boys. Flag, 10 o'clock high. 4 o'clock high. Flag, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. How do you describe it? We pray, oh. and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, trust in the hell Satan. What's the ETA for our target? Yeah, they haven't Roger, dropped Roger, bombs, Roger. though. Roger. No. They're, they're not trying they're to not bomb the target guns, yet. they're trying to bomb the submarines. So they're essentially just trying to outlast this section, they're not... Yeah, they're just trying Wait, to Are there through. shooters fighting back? <gasps> oh my goodness! Show is so beautiful. Be over the target. I can't see a damn thing. Should think so. Think they're over the top of it now. So they should be dropping. If but they can't see. If their navigation's good. No good. It's no good. Sir, I am not dropping bombs if we can't see the damn target. Let me look. Zero visibility, sir. Command pilot to crew. I'm scrubbing this mission. Oh. Navigator, prepare oh, a new heading. Roger. 
I understand though. You can't just, you can't mess about with bombs. You need to know what you're doing. I know. Wait, what? No, wait. Flag stopped. Oh, no, no. Yeah, why? That's not a good sign. You know what that means? That means fighters presumably come up. <gasps> I can't get a read on the 349s. They're still way back. Keep an eye out for enemy fighters. Top search and crew, 12 o'clock high, fighters! Oh no. <gasps> oh, they're the wee fighter planes. Yeah. So they're not as well protected, but they'd be a lot faster, I assume. They're going for Fiends Group. <gasps> oh no. No. They got a bail. Oh no. Uh, bail out. Anyone see shoots? I don't see any shoots. Roger. Fighters! 12 o'clock high! Oh. Oh, oh no, so he has them. Oh no. Oh, they're losing people. They're coming straight for us. Jesus. Oh my. Oh, oh no. Wow. <gasps> Wait. Fighter 6 o'clock. 8 o'clock. This was the pilot from before. Oh, man. Oh. To death. Not burned. Oh, it looked like like frostbite. Oh my god. He's gonna lose his fingers. Yeah. Jesus. My he god. It's so long to let anyone know. Dump these bombs in the channel. Oh. Some tough luck on your first mission, Major. Oh god, this is failed. Yeah. Oh, and he's gonna find out that the, the, nearly his entire. Bar Group. two are d uh, gone. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Colonel, you okay? Oh, that's the guy who was vomiting up blood. Yes, that's the colonel. Yeah, he's he's sick, sick, sick. Yeah. Same. Nineteen took off, one return. Three missing. Jeez. All from Veal Squad. Now, Noy! Hey, Veal, Veal. Calm down. down. It's not another word. Save the team interrogation. Get to interrogation. Get to interrogation. Now, that's an order. Is that him? He's angry. It's, he's angry because he's lost loads of his guys. Loads of men. We've got a fort to patch up. Back to work, boys. Let's go. So they're the engineers. Yeah. Wow. Just sitting in there. Wow. Whoa. No flat landing. I need to get you to interrogation, Buck. Come on. To figure out what happened. Yeah. Didn't drop a single bomb. I had to sabble them over the channel. I know. Let's go. They're not meant to talk about anything yet. And he no. gets to interrogation. Yeah. But he had to tell his friend what happened. He's annoyed, isn't he? He is. Why didn't you tell me? How awful it is. He told that man told him not to. He'd been up. Wow. Two missions. That was really their first time actually doing it in like active combat. That's yeah. insane. I don't know what to say. You've seen it now. I don't know what I saw. He stayed very calm. He did. To be fair, like he, he didn't show this. Away, he didn't like... show this fear in the moment. Thirty yeah. guys. Thirty guys. Just should have been up there with you. It's really eating at him, isn't it? That he's not able to get involved. I'm sure he'll be up there at some point. I get the impression yeah. he's going to get his way eventually. We've got a long road ahead of us. 
But I'm just thinking of all the horrible things <laughs> that could happen. Oh! No, we don't, we don't want it next time. Oh, that's it? That's, yeah. Okay. We don't want it next time. No, we don't want to see anything else. That Guys! That was... That was insane. A start and a half. First, I, okay, no, I think we need first preface. Apologies if we were a little lost at times. It was mm -hmm. very throwing you right in there. It did. It was hard to keep up with who was who. Yeah. So many characters. Mm -hmm. But, you know, most likely, you know, you'll be editing this. I'll probably rewatch it. And mm -hmm. we'll, we'll get that stuff. Will, It'll just take will. time. Yeah. But I think, why don't we just go through the story yes. okay. as best we can okay. for yeah. now. Yeah. yeah. So, where did we begin? Okay, we began in a bar. In a bar in America. With two best mates. With, and, and some girls. And some girls. One of whom he seemed to have just been introduced to. Yeah. The other seemed was to be a long a, term. A, yeah, he's serious with this one. The, the girl made a comment. The girl seemed lovely. I'd love to see more of her. Mm -hmm. The girl made a comment like that she was trying to set him up with this yeah. other girl. Yeah. And that gave me that impression initially yeah. that that guy is quite a... Bit of a ladies man. Bit of a loose cannon. Yeah. Bit of a wild child, yeah, bit of a... He, he, he kissed the Irish girl in the, in the English pub. <laughs> he did. He seems to just be like a kind of... Yeah, no, he just... He seems like a bit more of a fun-loving, kind of mm -hmm. mm -hmm. adventurous kind of guy. Yeah. Bit of a free spirit type. Yeah, kind of determined. He wants in yeah. on the action. He does. Whereas um, Buck or Gale... Yeah, he seems... seems to be a bit more stoic. A bit yeah, more he's very much stoic. That's the right stoic, word. Stoic, yeah. a bit more serious, yeah. a bit more... He's carrying a weight now, obviously... Mm -hmm. But even before that, he didn't carrying... he didn't say much to anybody. No, yeah. You know, he was just sort of. Yeah, the, the, I was going to say the reality is that Bucky is probably also carrying a similar weight. Yeah, yeah. He just deals with it differently. Mm -hmm. Um, so it was really cool to see the introduction of those two. Absolutely. Um, and then. Bucky went out. He went ahead first, and he had two combat missions. And it was of... his first time doing that. Yeah. And he survived them, but had his eyes opened. Yeah. And yeah. then we had, of course, then when they were all moving, they're getting moved to England. There was that plane that got lost and nearly yes. went to France. Which, that it was that group that I was getting a bit lost on who was who, but hopefully yeah, over time. I'm but sure they were right here. The, there was a pilot who I feel like I can remember his face. Yeah, I think I know his face. There was a navigator who mm -hmm. seemed to be the narrator as well. Yeah. Which I kept saying that, but I'm just really confused why he was narrating. It was very interesting. So I'm so intrigued to learn more about that guy. Yeah. He was having trouble with sickness. Yeah. And it messed up the navigation. Mm -hmm. Due to that. Took him to France. Yeah. Um, and then they had to have a crash landing. They did because... The was gear. one wheel came down or yeah only one only one they wheel couldn't came get us down they had to land with no wheels yeah. with wheels off they were saying he says it's easier to do that than with one wheel yeah and they were <coughs> saying every someone said wasn't it every pilot's gonna have to do a wheels yeah. off landing eventually yeah you've done yours now yeah um it's terrifying it seems to have a huge issue yeah. that could cause genuinely like, know, just like, wheels not coming I know. down it's like well your your mission's gone perfectly you've gone you know everywhere yeah. you need to go you haven't got a scratch Oh, your your landing gear won't come down, so now you have to. No, you're yeah. Land Isn't on your that belly. crazy? That's like, insane when you think about it. Like obviously it makes sense, but you just don't think about how those little things can mean life or death. I know. Like people, it was terrifying watching them land. Yeah. It was so scary. I know. Um, and they'd just flown through friggin' occupied France. Yeah, they just shot at. Well, almost. I think they turned away beforehand. <laughs> they, but they were they were shot at first, weren't they? But uh, yeah, and then everyone arrived mm -hmm. there. So those were kind of, as far as I can tell, like. The this is the, the, the group. bombers. Is is this that, is the yeah the bombers. We seem to be following mainly the bombers, don't we? Yeah. yeah. And they were then woken up to be told you're going on your first mission. Yeah. All of you. Yeah. Um, we were struggling to figure out who was kind of in leadership. But yeah. As far as we could tell, it was. It was it was Gail Buck, Austin, Buck, Buck slash Gale and that that guy Veil who Vail. had the technical problems and that seemed yes. to be their their two squadrons was the main ones up, but didn't it? Yeah, and they were aiming. For um, uh, a, a U boat yes. site in Bremen. Bremen, that's it. Yes, and the when they flew up, the per visibility. Yeah, and Veil's squad, squad were squad falling, were falling behind, behind because, and then he had the engine. Because they were, so I assume they were like in formation around him. Yeah, so because he was slowing down. It was slowing down the rest. So he had to step yeah. away, passed on command to another person. I couldn't really tell who. No. to be honest with you, because everyone looked so similar. <laughs> But, but then um, when the fighters came, they really targeted that squadron. That, that, yeah. And they seemed to be like nearly picking them off one at a time. Like they would do one pass and go, right, we're getting that guy. And, they, yeah, that, and then he would just go. And then the next pass, they would do somebody else. Yes. 
it's quite terrifying mm-hmm. to be honest yeah. and and then the, in the end they made the call of we can't see yeah we can't see the target so we can't drop no i i'm sure they're gonna maybe go further into that or not maybe mm-hmm. we're gonna jump ahead well there's this interrogation here. that now has to come I in know. the next episode so i guess i'm just not sure what the scope of this is and whether this show is gonna be so i don't know like are we gonna jump straight in right after this event or could it be like three years later in the next episode like is the show for all like, like could it take place over a really long time i don't know like well, i, I don't know if like, it's, it's just about one it's, yeah well i mean it's, it's we started in 1943 there so it's likely to take at least a, a year and a bit exactly like you know maybe we're not gonna maybe that interrogation is just like oh hmm. th- we're just not gonna see that we're gonna be moved on we'll be that was their first mission episode two it's later. been yeah, yeah. Not, yeah a month or two i don't know yeah. or we're gonna jump straight in yeah i would love to know more about if they do the decision to like not drop the bombs yeah if that if that gets in, in sort of interrogated because gail seemed quite obviously disappointed about it mm-hmm. but was that because he was disappointed that they decided not to and he thought they should have or was he disappointed that the situation didn't allow for them to do it yeah it's true actually I and i don't know which. the answer to that that's that, that, it's a very good yeah very good you know what i mean like yeah. i couldn't tell if he was like raging that the conditions were so bad mm-hmm. Or raging, like, I don't, I don't know war strategy. Guys. I know, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, um, I think that brings us up to the end. So, like, yeah, we're about to go and watch episode two right now because yeah. they had released two episodes at once this week. Mm. So, this is going to be the end of the first video. It is, but we're we've the second one recording more than that will hopefully be out this week prior mm. to episode three airing on Friday. So, everything goes to plan. This will be out this week as well, episode two. Yes. So we're going to go and watch it right now. We are. And I might take actually a moment before we watch it mm-hmm. to quickly have a look at the names of the characters. Yeah, yeah, good Just, idea. Just very carefully, mm-hmm. very carefully to avoid any spoilers, mm-hmm. but just, just so that hopefully we'll be a bit more on the ball yeah. next time. But look, it's going to take time. Mm-hmm. That's how it works with these shows. It's so hard to catch the oops. Oh, 100%. Especially like, when you're dealing with so many characters. Yeah, I feel like being able to sit here and discuss it and work through it afterwards helps me figure out what's <laughs> going on. Like, I'm, I'm a bit more uh, clear Definitely. on things now. But, oh, but I am really enjoying it. Oh, I don't that, think I even that, mentioned Yeah, we didn't that. even say how much of it, but it, oh my God. It's wonderful. It's, really, really beautiful. Oh, really so intense straight away. Music. And drew you straight into the, the tension and the fear and the dread and the excitement of everything. Oh. I know, the fact you're thrown in does leave you a bit like who's who. Yeah. But it also is like very accurately how they feel, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, true. And yeah. look, for me as an average viewer who doesn't watch these kind of movies i'm obviously not going to be as quick to follow things but no. but i'm still very drawn in by it and i feel like they've established the characters well and relationships very well particularly between those me and two that's <laughs> really drawn me in yeah. so you know they clearly this is a show that don't they? yeah clearly yes but clearly that you know that element makes me really happy because it feels like me who's not an expert in these kind of shows Can just like it's approachable to me and just go right, yes that's... it gives me a kind of same with same with almost his his even though it was very brief set up but the sort of his wee girlfriend that he exactly. has back home yeah that sort of get, just gives it, you some, something human to latch on to you know like it, like it's <laughs> it's so hard to describe but the story is obviously a bit all over the place for me and i'm trying to like keep yeah. up with it but yeah. yeah i i feel like it's i don't know it's been done well mm-hmm. for someone like me okay which Please. i think is a good thing yeah and yeah Okay. Very excited to see more. Yes. Want more growth. Oh, want yeah. more character. We will. I'm sure we'll get it. I want. I want to cry. You know what I mean? <laughs> I want characters to like tap into my soul. Yeah. That's what I love in these kind of shows. Okay. They get. They get deep. So yeah. Yes. So we'll be doing this whole series. So if you want to see all those videos, you can subscribe to the channel, and you will see all of those in the future. <laughs> So, subscribe. No, no, don't say that. Subscribe. Um, Yes. If you enjoyed this and you'd like to see more, you can subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below as well if you want to Mm. fill us in on some information. Please help us out, actually, because we are definitely struggling. (laughs) Please be patient with us. We really are doing our best. But it is very hard when you're watching something. You can't pause. You kind of need to take in everything. Mm -hmm. um, But we would appreciate any tips Definitely. and any, any, any context any inf- extra information that is spoiler free preferably of course because um, we know this is a true story yeah. but we don't know anything about yeah. these people so, so if we'd you've read not... the book it's based on please don't tell yeah. us all the stuff we, we'd rather know nothing mm-hmm. it'd be more fun but yeah thank you everybody so much for watching yeah. we'll um, see you later we'll see, see you in the next one see you in the next one which we are right about to record yeah so. in like one minute <laughs>
Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody.